Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you're all getting excited about Christmas. So I haven't made a video in like two months or something. I've just been super busy with coursework and work and all kinds of things. Um, so YouTube has kind of taken a back seat. But this morning I came across an app on Instagram and it looked totally scammy. Um, but I thought I'd check it out anyway because it sounded cool. I love the idea of it. So I came across this advert and it said that you could sell your unwanted clothes and electronics for instant cash and that just sounds amazing but also too good to be true so I thought I had to try it out so that's what I did and in this video I will show you what it's about, if it works and all that stuff and no this is not sponsored by Twig or anything like that so yeah stick around to the end to see uh, if it does actually work because when I saw it I thought I definitely thought it was a scam so I thought this video might be helpful for anyone else that comes across the advert and googles the app or company because I did and the only thing I could find was reviews on the Google App Store I couldn't find anything on YouTube or anywhere else and I really don't trust their reviews on Google App Store because the ones that say oh yes this is amazing it could be the people who own it I just don't trust anything on the internet so I thought I'd try it out for myself so that you don't have to but if it works it's gonna be amazing so it describes itself as a circular economy app where you can apparently upload or sell to them your clothes electronics all that stuff bags shoes I think they do and they will instantly give you a valuation and then you can cash out that evaluation and just have the money in this account. So they send you, it's like, um, it looks very similar to Sterling Bank. I don't know if any of you use them. I use Sterling Bank um, for my business side of things. And the app really reminds me of that. So you do actually get a bank card. It's a Visa debit card. And anything you sell or cash out on there, the money just goes onto this card. And then from there, I guess you can transfer it to wherever or use the card in shops um, online or in store, wherever they accept Visa. So it sounds really good. So I thought I'd try it out and I found some good things, but then I found some not so good things. So I will share them all with you. I took screenshots of every step uh, just so you can see what it's all about. So when I first signed up, I had to verify the account, which I know some people get a bit funny about, but you do have to do this with like real bank accounts or real it reminded me of when you register for a betting account it was the same process where you have to prove your identity um and your address you don't have to put in any bank details or anything if it did ask for that i, I probably wouldn't have even bothered going ahead because i was already going into it thinking this is a scam but yeah you don't have to put in your bank details or pay anything so you know worth a try if you don't have to pay anything so I've seen reviews saying that they had problems with this process and that it took ages, um, days. Mine was verified within like five minutes. So I had no problems with that, it was really, really easy. So as soon as it's verified, you get taken to this dashboard, which is really simple. It just gives you how much money you've got in that account. It shows you, um, just like your online banking, you know, you can see your card with your card numbers and stuff. And that gets sent to your house, I think it takes about five days. Um, and then you can activate the card. Apparently, we'll see if it turns up because I've only done it today, so I will update this video as and when. That's Rosie. We've adopted two cats. Uh, this is Rosie. <laughs> yeah, at the top of this dashboard, it looks like Instagram stories, um, which I thought was a cool little touch where you could click on them and it shows you like how it works and how to upload items and stuff like that. But it looks really self-explanatory, like if you list on eBay or something. It looks like the simple, like a really simple version of listing on eBay. So there's categories like clothes, bags, shoes, electronics. Because the app is so new, it looks like it's quite limited to what you can actually sell on there. Like the electronics, I can only see that you can sell. <laughs> uh, on the electronics, I can only see that you can sell iPhones at the minute. Apparently this is a growing list, so it's something to, you know, keep an eye on. But in the, on the clothing side of it, it looks like it's just branded clothes um, and there is a big list of brands but I looked through it and I couldn't find, uh, there was a few I couldn't find like Regatta I couldn't find um, but all the main popular things are there like you know Nike, Adidas and 
all that stuff is all on there. Because I have a storage unit, so all my stuff is at the storage unit, and I don't keep any of my stuff that I sell at home anymore. So I had to go through my own wardrobe and try and find something that's branded, which is was hard to do because I really don't wear branded clothes. Most of my clothes now just come out of my like eBay stock, so it's all like unbranded vintage type type stuff. Um, but I did find a H&M jumper dress thing and I tried that. Yeah, it was really simple to list. It was literally just three photos. Uh, the only problem I did come across was the photographs. You had to take them directly through the app using the camera on your phone so you couldn't use, you know, you couldn't go into your gallery and pick photos out which really annoyed me because fo I bulk photograph all my items so to do that would be quite annoying but anyway that was just a little annoyance I had and if it's a new app there's going to be these little like buggy things so as soon as I uploaded this it was just a H&M jumper dress cheap you know it was nothing fantastic just a very normal piece of clothing so I wasn't expecting a huge amount but they did give me a valuation like instantly of two pound and one pence which I was like shockingly surprised at because I thought it may be like uh, what's the one music magpie where you scan a CD and it will give you like 2p I thought it was gonna be like that so even for a H&M jumper which was nothing special um, they valued it at two pound which I thought was pretty cool so it'd be interesting to see what they value you know better better branded things and better quality items so it gave me the option straight away to cash out that two pound but I'm just using it as an example so I didn't do it but what I did do was they have a referral program where you can refer your friends and apparently you get a fiver and the person you refer gets a fiver so I did try that out um, and straight away I got two pound so I went on the they have a live chat I went on there and asked you know, I thought it was meant to be five, or I've only got two, and they replied pretty much straight away and said, um, I'll put it here what they said. I think it was like you get two pound when you register, and then two pound when they uh, verify their identity, I think, and then you both you get another pound when they cash out, um, you know, cash out their first item or whatever. So that was pretty cool because that was like instant. So, so far, I'm thinking this all sounds really good. Uh, I looked into the terms and conditions and apparently when you cash out... <laughs> Rosie! Yeah, when you upload your items and cash out, you post your items to their UK warehouse uh, for free. They give you the label to post it to them and then you get the cash. I've seen plenty of reviews that have said, you know, they've done this, it all works all works perfectly and everything. Um, but I have yet to do it, but I am going to do it. So I will let you know as soon as I do it. If I'll let you know as soon as I do it, you know, what happens with that. And then once they receive it at the warehouse, you get the cash onto your new card and can spend it, apparently, on whatever. The only thing I noticed is at the top it said three cash outs remaining. So I saw on some of the reviews that it said you can only cash out three times. And I'm not sure what this means. I don't know if it means... I never work with animals or children. Stay there. Uh... <laughs> Uh, what was I saying? What was I saying? Yeah, the three cash outs. I don't know what it means. I don't know if it means... I don't know if it means you can only do three items at a time or like three a week or three ever. It can't be ever because then it'd just be you can sell three things and then the end. It can't be that. So I have sent a message, uh, sent an email to them to verify what that means. Like, And I'll update um, as soon as I get a reply on that. I mean, even if it is only three... Which, like I said, it can't be because then they, they have no business because people would just sell three things and then go. So, downsides that I've come across is the fees. It keeps saying everywhere that this is free, you get a free card, you get a free debit card, um, it's free to post your item to them and all that stuff. Free, 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 free. Until you cash out, and I've seen that people say the fees are really high, like someone said they sold... Um, on one of the reviews that I saw, someone said they sold their item for like £75 or something and the fee was £15, which is pretty high. But if you can sell something off that price instantly, I would pay a high fee to sell things instantly. I mean, to me it would be worth it because when you list things on, you know, other marketplaces, 
you never know if it is going to sell or how long it's going to take. I have stuff that's sat there for a year before it sells. So if I had the option of, you know, paying a high fee to get it gone, I would do that. So that's not like a deal breaker for me, but it might be for some other people who are used to selling on like, you know, Facebook or something where there is no fees, but I'm used to paying fees and I don't begrudge selling, um, I don't begrudge paying fees, especially if it's an instant thing, you know. Yeah, the biggest downside that I found was the reviews. They do have a four star rating on the app store, but like, I don't take that, like I said, into account because it could be all the staff, all the employees or the owners or whoever and all their friends putting five star reviews and skewing the results. So I really don't trust it. That's why I wanted to try it out for myself and let you guys know if it works and how good it actually is. If it does work though, this, this is a game changer. Like this could be amazing. Even if it's just to get rid of, you know, some of the stuff that you've had laying around for ages. Um, if you can get instant valuation on stuff, I mean, it would be amazing. A huge thing that they're doing differently to everywhere is this feature at the bottom where it says that you can build this virtual forest and for every tree that you plant in this virtual forest, they actually plant a tree in real life. I'll put the information here somewhere and um, it tells you where they plant the trees and all that stuff. I think it's 15 pence to plant these trees. Uh, which is really cool. I mean, some people would really like that idea. I am so skeptical with things. Um, I can't see like any proof of this, which I know that sounds, probably sounds awful, but but I think you probably get what I mean. Like they might just be saying this and I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. If it's real, it's a great idea. Obviously if it's not, it's awful. <laughs> and if it is real, I'd probably feel really bad for saying this on the internet. Oh yeah, and the other thing I should mention is they do quality control, so when you list an item, uh, just like on eBay, it'll say you have to put what, what condition it's in, and when they receive it at the warehouse, they'll check it, and if it's not the condition that you've said it's in, they will return it to you at a cost, and the cost is £2.80. I mean, it's not extortionate. You know, and if you tell the truth about the quality and stuff, then there shouldn't be an issue, really. But yeah, as I was saying, the reviews, some of them are awful. Some of them are saying that they don't accept anything that they've tried to put on there, that the app is glitchy and doesn't work, that they haven't been able to verify their identity and all kinds of things like that. I'm seeing a lot of the reviews, the negative reviews, are technical problems, which, you know, do happen with new platforms and things. So that doesn't totally put me off. Yeah, let me know what you think about this new app. Do you think it's a total scam? Um, if not, and if you want to try it, if you use my referral code, you'll get a fiver and I'll get a fiver when you make money and cash out. I think my referral code is Sarah M, like E-M, because my middle name's Emily, so Sarah M. Uh, I'll put the link down below if you want to try it out. It's free, so, you know, may as well give it a go. If you do, please write in the comments what happened and if it was legit or if it didn't work or whatever please put it down below because people will hopefully find this video and look at the comments to get honest reviews about this because uh, you just can't trust the reviews on instagram and google these days but yeah let me know what you think about it i'm really excited about it i think it could be if it works like it says it does i think it'd be amazing but I will do an update as soon as I've sold items on there and sent them off and they've been quality checked and I've received the cash, hopefully. I'll do an update, update video uh, letting you know everything that happened and if it all went smooth or whatever. So thanks for watching everyone and if I don't see you before, I hope you all have a really good Christmas and a happy new year and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!